In the first video about the KDX 200, I had a really clear objective. I got the motorcycle, I want to see if it goes. We were successful, it was a lot of fun, it was exciting, that video was a nice little package. The next video was a similar structure. I had the motorcycle that ran, but I couldn't really do anything with it. So we got it all dressed up, we stormed the gates of DMV, and came away with the spoils. Practically. I still haven't got the title in the mail. But I'm feeling pretty good about it anyway. Now, things need to slow down a little bit. The next phase of this project is to actually make all of these things that I installed work. It's not as fast-paced or exciting as the previous steps, but it's necessary. So I'm trying to figure out how to approach that. Do you hear all that noise? There's a Ford driving by. I like the cabin a lot better than this place. It's noisy here. I've got a busy road here. I've got neighbors here. Nice neighbors. And it's Sunday afternoon and three houses down, everybody's ring ding ding in their motorcycle. And I'm not. We're actively looking for another residence that better fosters what I want our life to be and what I want the YouTube channel to be. Today what I'm going to do is try to figure out if I can make these turn signals work. I'm not going to connect them permanently because I'm probably going to change the forks like some of you suggested to the blue inverted forks that are on the parts bike and probably change some other things around but I want to make sure that they have the capacity to work. The reason I think they might not work is because this electrical system is an AC electrical system. That's alternating current, that's similar to what's in your house. Most street motorcycles have a direct current system, which is what a battery is. They have a 12 volt battery underneath the seat, they have some electronic gizmos that change the alternating current to direct current, and they run their electronics off of that. I want to keep this AC because it's fewer parts that I need to buy, it's less weight, and the street version of the KDX 200 was able to make everything work with AC current. So if Kawasaki can do it, I think I can too. This sounds expensive. I'm, I really thought you were going to say this sounds really boring because that's what I'm thinking right now. Do I still have your interest? Right now they're scrubbing to the end. Cost isn't the only thing here. This is our life and we only live it once. And I want this to drive down the street with pride and with working turn signals. The first thing we need to do to dig into this situation is pull off the seat and the tank so I can access the wiring. I don't like that this camera doesn't have a timer. Probably just talked for about 10 minutes. I'd like to film today edit tonight and tomorrow and have the video uploaded by tomorrow. I don't know if that'll work. It's Sunday. I'm calling you out. You cannot get this uploaded on Monday. All I want to do today is make the flashers flash. Challenge. Oh, I said flash. We're not flashing anything except the light bulbs. YouTube, taking away your gas money if they don't like the way the video is. Work while you talk. This is going to be a half an hour if you keep this up. What is that leaking out? Just gas. I don't know what's on and off on the valve over here. Okay, the tank's off. Next thing I want to do is hang it from the rafters. The reason I'm doing this is so I can start the motorcycle with the gas tank removed to test any work that I've done. Is it raining gas on my head? Yes. Don't put your head under a leaking gas tank. <laughs> I could really use a cigarette right now. Okay, it's connected. The gas is on. We'll call that developer mode. This is where I really get stuck in the mud. Electricity is something that I haven't had a lot of experience with. I touched it a few times. Okay, I think I need a wiring diagram here to catch all this gas that's leaking out. <laughs> Took me a moment. I found the wiring diagram, but I can't really make heads or tails of it. There's some things I don't understand. So instead of trying to wrap my head around the whole system, I'm just gonna pull off this tail light and wire my turn signal into that and see if I can make it flash. Okay, that guy's off. Next thing I wanna do is start up the motor and make sure this lights up. How many kicks? I say one kick. I'm thinking one. One kick. <laughs> Almost. 
Oh, it doesn't have an exhaust on it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I took the exhaust off because I think it would look better that way and also because I want to remove a dent. I should put that back on. Probably. What would have happened if you started it without an exhaust? The smoke everywhere? Lots of noise. Okay, the pipe's back on. I haven't put the silencer on because I really don't care if it's a little bit louder. Here we go. Watch for the light. Do you want me to help you out? electricity back there that's good so the next thing we need to do is see if we can make one of these flashers flash that was a horrible sound <laughs> that was a wonderful sound I have a flasher that I bought down at O'Reilly's this is a standard three dollar part hopefully it'll do the trick I found a connector for this tail light and I think if I just disconnect these little bullets tying in here would be easier than trying to connect to this light socket. I don't know about this. You're right, it is boring. Everything's wired up here to the flasher. I have power coming into the flasher, going out to the turn signal, and then returning directly to this black wire. I ended up connecting this light so camera girl doesn't have to stand in the fog when I try this. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Can it be that easy? That's great! I looked at so much internet chatter about turn signals and dual sports. Just wired up. It works. How do you like the stance? Say, can you hand me that tool right there? Just right there without putting your foot down? Oh! I'm just as excited about this as when we got it started. It's because electricity is still kind of like magic to me and I don't quite understand it. And I made it do what I wanted it to do. I'm coming down from the joy a little bit. I just thought of a couple of things. When I turn the flashers on, two of them will flash at the same time. I only check this with one. So I want to start up the engine and see if two turn signals flash. I have both of the rear ones hooked up to the flasher now. And the second thing, you're gonna love this, Jen. The voltage on this system, because there's no battery, may vary with engine RPM. I know these work at idle, but what happens Great. when I rev the motor a little bit? So pull that cute beanie down over your ears, and we'll try this. That's it. How's your lungs and ears? I'm sure it's made me stronger. I'm <laughs> coated. <laughs> You're coated. I'm coated. Hey, they don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're still running a little bit rich over here. I got a nice coating. The good news is these turn signals are compatible with an AC electrical system. The next thing we need to work on is something that is not necessary for the legality of the motorcycle, but it's important to me and it has a little bit of a place in my heart. I want to make the tachometer work. It will be a really wonderful experience to be driving down the road, shifting through the gears, and seeing that needle swoop in sync with the beautiful music of the two-stroke engine. You mean knowing how fast you're going? We'll get to work on that next time. Thanks for watching.